And there's a couple more notes after that. I don't have that one memorized quite yet. <laughs> Hi, it's time for a channel update. Um, I'm not terribly good at talking to cameras without people being on the other side that I know I'm talking to, so excuse my a little nervousness here. Um, first of all, I'd, I'd like to thank everybody who has had the, been wonderful enough to listen to my music up to now. Um, the fact that I have a, like 190 subscribers is absolutely wonderful. The fact that anybody listens to some of the music that I put out is wonderful. Um, jazz piano is not the most popular thing in the world. Um, does you know you have Katy Perry and and uh, um, the uh, I think Taylor Swift and people like that are way up there and jazz piano is down here with um, I don't know uh, Lithuanian uh, uh, Lithuanian bluegrass music um, actually that probably gets bigger audience than actual jazz piano um, but in any case um, I did a video the other day which um, I'm uh, I um, I want to start doing some videos to try to um, sell some of my old uh, uh, music that I put out um, many years ago. I had uh, an album that I put out in 1996, and it's uh, it's it's available on uh, on Spotify and iTunes, and it's available. There's uh, there's links at the bottom. If you look underneath, there's links down there um, that you can go and hear my music at. Um, and it's also um, available on YouTube at Chris Durham Topic. Um, I don't usually put the songs on this channel because the strange, the silly thing about that is that I get a copyright claim from the distribution company that distributes this particular CD um, if I put my music up. Um, this, the song that I did a video of the other day, I will, I already got a copyright claim on, which is very silly because. They're collecting money for me and copyright claiming me. So it's very bizarre. Um, uh, the copyright system on YouTube is very weird. Um, but um, this, is the, this is the song that I did. Uh, well, actually, this is the uh, album cover that I sort of made for a I, I, preliminary album cover I made for an album that I was going to put out of just original um, acoustic guitar music. Um, and the Mad Cow, the name comes from, uh, I was in a trio, vocal trio, with two girls who, um, we, we, uh, we did a lot of Crosby, Stills, and Nash. We did a lot of, um, some Beatles and some, a little bit of, a little bit of Bob Marley. Um, and we, we did a, a, a lot of, uh, three-part harmony vocal stuff and a lot of my originals. Um, uh, but that, that's where we this album was recorded with those two girls and uh, a jazz band that I used to play with. They did the um, back, the, they basically did the the band tracks, um, and we went into the studio with a band and recorded the whole thing live in one day. Um, uh, but that's that's another story. Um, uh, what I was going to say is, I made a video of this. Um, with some of my own drawings, and I'd like to get a real illustrator to actually do the the serious drawings of this uh, uh, of of some of them for some of my songs, or get somebody who really knows how to to uh, do video editing and video design, video illustrations. Someday I would like to do that. Um, obviously, with the amount of money that you make um, as a performing artist these days, it's hard to pay an illustrator. So. I'm not sure when that's going to happen, and I'm not sure my illustrations are good enough to <laughs> do. Uh, but but you'll see that on uh, tomorrow on on the uh, uh, tomorrow from the day that I'm recording this, um, I'm going to be on that Lays Irreliables um, thing um, with the song uh, "Like a Mad Cow in a Floral Print Dress," which is where this first uh, drawing came from, um, and. Uh, Yes, on Lazy Resistibles, I, we're going to be doing the, um, the uh, I, I, I'm going to have that song up, and, um, and you can see my lousy uh, uh, illustrations. Um, and at some point, um, I, I do want to get a real illustrator to do that. Um, I seem to be talking like a train walking, going down a hill uh, without any control. Um, 
because I don't like talking on camera unless I have somebody on the other side to talk to. Um, so, in any case, um, yes, uh, my, uh, my channel is now at 190 subscribers, and I thank everybody, everybody who has subscribed. It really, really uh, makes me happy that that people actually listen to my music um, I, and it's uh, it's a lot of fun seeing people in the chats and um, I think I had something else I needed to say but I've forgotten what it is but in any case um, thank you all so much for uh, subscribing that you that anybody and if you want to tell your friends to subscribe that would be wonderful and if possible if any of you can do me a favor and go to Chris Durham Topic and listen to some of these songs, um, there's 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 some great songs. Catnip Mouse is a is a lot of fun, um, and uh, Baby It's All Right is a lot of fun, and um, Simple Minded Fool is obviously Simple Minded Fool is obviously my my personal biographical statement. Um, yeah, you can uh, you can listen to all those songs. Um, some of the songs were written back in 19. There is a song on here called "More Than I Deserve" that I, I believe I wrote in 1982. Um, so for all of you young people who don't even know what 1982 was, I was writing songs as a 21 year old at that particular moment. Um, Oh, I think it was earlier than that. Well, in any case, um, in any case, there are some songs on there that are pretty old, um, but the whole album was done in 1996. And um, there are other songs on Chris Durham Topic at YouTube um, that are newer, um, and um, and Spotify, you can go listen to it. But the, the links are down there underneath this video. So go down there and find those links, and go and listen to some of that music and and tell your friends to subscribe because I want to try to get to 200 before the end of February because that would be really, really cool to get to 200 before the end of February. Um, I, that probably seems like a lot, but it's at 190 right now, so maybe it isn't. I don't know. So that's it. I think I, I think I've babbled enough, and I'm just going to stop the recording.